Hi, this is Dr. Yunlong Liu. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the UCSC Genome Browser to visualize your own data. So we will first go to the UCSC Genome Browser website, which is genome.ucsc.edu. Once you get there, you mouse your over into this genomes uh, uh, button, and you will see that uh, there are several different tracks uh, coming out. That will include the human, mouse, and other species. If you click this in, and you can see actually there are much more, many more species that are available for you to choose from. One thing we need to pay attention to is uh, before you visualize your data, the first thing you need to know is uh, which genome build this data is based on. And the chance is uh, when your bioinformatician provide you with uh, some of the BAM files you want to visualize, and you will, they will decide which genome build to be used on, and you need to ask them. And in our case here, a few files that we prepared is based on the human genome HG38 genome build, and that is where I'm going to go to. So after clicking this, you will see this uh, very standard genome browser website. I hope you already take a look at the, a couple of links that I send out for the UCS genome browser short video from the YouTube, and they did a great job to introduce this wonderful resource. And, but to be brave, that there are many different tracks that are being demonstrated here, and then there are many, many more. I encourage you to go through some of them, but if you look at them, most of them are being hidden here. That's why that you don't see so many tracks on this, but you can add the in uh, additional ones. And you just want to see which one fit your interest, uh, uh, research interest battery, you can put that in. What we want to focus on today is uh, how to load your own data. So after, uh, shortly before, uh, uh, and below this particular, uh, the data session, so you can see there are several different buttons are available here. The one that we're going to use today is, is this one, add custom tracks. So if you click this, you will come to this particular page that tells you there are so many different uh, tracks, that uh, different time uh, file formats, that you can use to load your data in. It depends on your biological question. Most notably will be this BED file or WIG files, but many others, they are very, very important as well. So if you click this file, it gives you a very detailed explanation, the detailed format of these files the genomic locations, the start and end, and many other information, but I'm not going to go introduce individually, but these are the examples that you can take a look at. And the same thing with the Vigo file, if you click in, there's a, a lot of very good information that you can uh, uh, read. So as I mentioned in the previous lecture, that uh, the there are two ways to load your data into your CSD genome browser. The first one is you just directly send your data to the UCSC genome browser, and then you will be able to visualize your data. So let's uh, uh, see uh, some of the example on that. So here is a file that has uh, several different uh, tracks being prepared. So what I'm going to do is I will just keep paste and copy. This is uh, the bad file format, you just uh, put it in here, you click Submit, so you see the data are being loaded from your computer through the internet to UCSC Genome Browser Server. So now the data is in their server. So now what you do is you click Go, so you're, you are now seeing one more track that is uh, we're not there before. If you move this over so you can see there's one section called custom tracks are showing here. And this is the track, the name that you put in. So now you see this viewing session 
the mode is dense. You can click that into full, for example. You can try different ones and have appreciation what they look like. But when you click refresh, so now you are seeing two different uh, uh, the data field here. And uh, one is clone A, there's the other one is clone B with different colors, different starting, ending locations. And then you can zoom out based on the genomic coordinate or zoom in or doing this type of uh, zoom in, custom, custom zoom in as well. So there are many different functions that you can achieve. But the point I want to give here is now you're loading your own data into the UCSC genome browsers through this way. Okay. So let's give and let me give you another example here. Let's uh, let load this particular one and being pre-made, and then you can see that these are track definition as well as uh, where the chromosome location start and end of each segment, what the names are and colors and so on. So let's see what this really look like, and then you can do this. Now you see this become managed custom tracks because you already have one. Uh, now you click in, so you see your track is here. You can click it, delete it, and then add, a cost, add additional track, and then you put this in, and the submit. The data is going to be submit into the UCSC Genome Browser server. Now you click go. So now you are seeing your tracks look like this. Several different uh, uh, tracks, uh, different uh, data fields, and uh, start and the location, so it's different colors, different directionalities, and so on and so forth. So that is uh, essentially what this bad file will give you. And there is another very important format. It's called a Vigo file, which I'm not going to go too much detail, but let's give a shot to see what it really look like. And this is copy and paste from uh, the Vigo file web page. They just uh, copy this and then go back to your track can delete this particular one again, and then add, add custom tracks, put it in. You can see that uh, I paste and copy all those uh, sections of the vehicle files in. It does submit, being submitted to Genome Browser Survey. There are two different uh, uh, data fields in that. You click go. So now you can see two tracks. One is uh, this particular one has a start and end location, but not only that, it also has associated with different quantitative values. And that is sometimes it's very, very useful. And this one is a fixed step format. So there are different formats, which we are not going to go into detail. So this part is the Vigo file. This short video, what I'm telling you is, uh, there are some short, small, uh, text-based files that you can paste and copy into the UCS Genome Browser, create this uh, custom, track, tra custom tracks, and then you can visualize your data uh, from that. In the next video, I'm going to show you very briefly that how we can visualize a much bigger file like uh, the one we generated from the next generation sequencing experiment.